Hello everyone, it's Chris and this is part 4 of the web server tutorial series. Uh, so far we haven't really done that much, we've talked about how you can update your server and how you can set a static IP address and in this video it's just going to be a quick one uh, in relation to time. This is just going to be telling you how you can set up a time server on your web server this means you can synchronize your time across all of your other devices with your server if you like to but the main reason for me doing this is because I do a lot of things in virtual machines um, when you're going to in snapshots it messes up the dates the server thinks it's a different date completely to what it is so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you how you can install a time server so it'll automatically correct that and keep the date automatically correct or within a few seconds I think it is to the main time server in your zone which I think is quite handy and this is only the case of typing in one little thing but it's quite useful so let's get started shall we um, so what you need to do is obviously you need to be able to log into an account that has permission to actually install new applications so I'm logged into root and the way you install it is it, you type in aptitude so A P T I T U D E, and then install, and then N T P. Once you've done that, it'll search for the package and say how big it is, and then you say you'd like to continue. So yes, and once it's done that, I will do the date command, and it'll tell me the exact date and time, which is quite useful. Especially as before I've done this series, it reckons it's a Saturday, and today is a Tuesday, so clearly that's quite long. So anyway, date, and the time is Tuesday, or well, the date is Tuesday, and the time is 6.42, and it's 35 seconds past. So there we are, our time is correct. So, in the next video, I'll just be showing you how we can install some of the main things in a web server, such as um, Apache, MySQL, PHP MyAdmin, and a few other applications. So, hopefully, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, just so that, obviously, for the subscribe bit, just so that when I do the next few videos, you'll get a notification saying, hey, Chris has done a new video, why don't you come and watch it? So, hope to see you in the next video.